Good morning, Wolfpack. I hope you all have a good day. I hope you work hard and accomplish your goals like always. And thank you for watching my videos. Now we kind of now know why the airdrops are taking a long time. So stick to the end for all the details. And before we get into the video, consider subscribing as it helps with the growth of the channel and give this video a thumbs up. That way YouTube recommends more of these crypto videos to more people. And we all win because more people invest into crypto. So I had a suspicion a while ago. Um, I even made a video about it that the airdrops were taking a long time because of high gas fees as you know right now we have 89,000 holders of saitama v2 um and all of these transactions had to take uh some gas fees and to just prove it even more uh the devs one of them said fun fact inquiring minds regarding v2 airdrops at low gas fees times it still costs roughly 15,000 in ethereum to airdrop 5k holders Hence why they may be seem spora sporadic at times for getting there though. So this is kind of uh, confirms my suspicion already. Yes, guys, it's taking a huge amount of gas fees. And let's just do some math right now. So originally there was 369,000 holders. So let's just say divided by five, right? Times 15,000. It's cost. It would cost the devs one point one million dollars. One million one hundred and seven thousand seven thousand if they were always charged 15k for for every five thousand holders now that is a ton of money and that's why i think they're doing it in um pretty much in bursts at a time so as you know we've been stuck now at eighty nine thousand for some time now i think like two days or three um but it did go up five thousand from last time i remember last time it was at eighty three thousand or 84,000, which uh, as you can see, he's saying they're doing it five per 5,000 holders. So maybe that's that's their um, that's their uh, minimum amount of holders they willing to uh, spend 15k on. But the thing is, um, the Ethereum gas prices they fluctuate a ton. I remember back in the days, I tried buying like a hundred dollars worth of Saitama because that's all I had, and it cost me like. 400 in gas fees and uh, during the crazy times of november 2021 where everything was going through the roof and uh, that's actually the worst time to buy saitama when everything is trendy when everything is viral but it does cost them a ton of money guys and this 15k is pretty much just i'm pretty sure it's just a rough average and make maybe it could be more which in that case they're gonna spend millions um to just airdrop saitama v2 tokens now pretty sure they're doing a smart moves and um it's doing smart timing maybe they're doing it at night because that's what it seems like uh it, it seems like every time i wake up they have airdrop during the nights and um because at night the gas fees are the lowest because guess what nobody is trading ethereum at that point the ethereum blockchain is not uh very active because very few people trade at night most people are asleep they need to get their sleep for the day but this kind of just confirms what we have all been thinking and it was going to cost them money and i don't think they maybe realized the amount of money would have cost them to airdrop all of these uh cryptocurrency v2 tokens now it might have been, it might have been a surprise if i were the devs and i then realized i had to pay 1.1 million out of pocket to airdrop all of these tokens yes i would have definitely been uh scared it would have been uh like oh my gosh what have we done but i guess they have the money I'm pretty sure they have the money to fund this and uh this is why they this is why a lot of devs get criticized for having a dev wallet or for making profits on their crypto but guess what the devs are do using it for a good reason so i truly appreciate you guys watching my videos and have a great rest of your day